Hello, my courageous Capricorn, and we are here for a quick uh, weekend energy reading for the weekend and week ahead. This is just going to be a quick reading, so please do take what resonates and toss the rest. Also, if you haven't uh, checked out my channel, please do check out your other readings, like, subscribe, share, all that other great stuff. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, it helps me grow my channel. So otherwise, let's just get right into this and see what we've got going for you. Uh, we don't do reversals on these. I will be putting up love readings very soon. So if you'd like to see those, please don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified on that. But let's go ahead and get started. And it does look like we have the Knight of Cups. So I do see that we have some opportunities coming into you, okay? So if you've had something you've been waiting on, perhaps something you've been looking forward to, um, you know, as far as business opportunities, uh, opportunities with someone that you've been interested in, I do think it's going to be coming into you, okay? So maybe this weekend, maybe coming into next week, something might be coming in for you. So if you've been waiting to, you know, purchase a house, uh, a job opportunity, somebody that you've really been trying to hint at that you have interest in. I do think that that is definitely going to be coming into you. So good things, definite opportunities, okay? Then we have the magician here. So I do feel like this is something where you are going to be really on top of your game. I feel like you're going to be able to utilize all your tools, right, at your disposal. So when this opportunity does present itself, this opportunity may be something that's going to challenge you a little bit too, right? Okay, so if it's something that, you know, you have to like kind of finagle, right? Maybe the opportunity comes in, but it's not got everything in line. You know what I'm saying? So like, okay, yes, I got the loan. Okay, yes, I got the job, but it's going to require me to maybe move or it's going to require me to, you know, start sooner than I thought. Or this loan is going to require me to jump through a few extra hoops than I thought. Those kinds of things. Um, do not fear, do not worry. You have all the tools at your disposal. You are more than well prepared. You will handle this, okay? This is something that you are going to have no problem navigating, okay? So you have all the tools at your disposal. If you have to pull some trickery, pull some magic, you know, out of your hat, whatever, this is not a problem. You are more than prepared for this. I do not see any issues there. Um, and we have the Two of Swords here, which this is actually a card of super strength to me. Um, it's something where I'm getting that feeling where uh, if you look there very closely, they're blindfolded making the decision. And for most of you, what that's telling me is that this decision is not only something that is kind of a no-brainer, but it's something that regardless of which way you go with it, you know you're gonna make a success of it, right? You can make it blindfolded um, because it's either a no-brainer you know, because you know the right path or um, adversely it could be because it doesn't matter which path you take, you know you can make a success either way, right? So if you have some hoops that you have to jump through, if you have some things you have to do, um, it doesn't matter which way you go, you know you're gonna make a success of it. So if there's situations you're having to choose between, you know, um, and that may be the case when these opportunities present itself, they may be an opportunity that says, okay, you can have this, and it may be really what you want, but you're gonna to have to give up something here or there or something else. And that's where that dilemma comes in where you have to kind of lean back on some of your tools and some of your uh, savvy and some of your, okay, negotiations or what should I do? Um, but this is something where you have nothing but strength and courage and you can make absolutely any decision work for you. So it's not a problem, right? This is gonna be a, a no-brainer. You're gonna have uh, an absolute pretty easy time with this, I feel like, and I feel like you're going to make a decision that's going to behoove you regardless, okay? So do not fear in that regard. Um, however, let's get your challenge card because there is always a challenge. Um, we always know that there's going to be some sort of challenge. Hopefully it's nothing major. Hopefully it's something minimal. Um, we'll pull this on your magician card. And nine times out of 10, I feel like the, the challenge tends to be we get in our own way, um, but let's see what, what we've got going on here for you, okay? Knight of Swords, and I do feel like that is, again, I do feel like that's you. Um, you are a person who is headstrong, okay? And I feel like that's something that you want to rush into it a little bit without realizing that you have all the tools at your disposal. So you kind of have one, one, kind of tunnel vision idea in mind, right? So when an opportunity presents itself, 
I think this magician card is kind of a sign telling you, wait a minute, utilize all your tools to make sure you're making the right choice. You're making the right decision. You are, you know, thinking everything through. You're using your strength with your swords. You're using your connections with your cups. You're using, you know, all of the things that you have at your disposal to make sure that you are making the right choices, making the right decision, being careful, doing your due diligence. You know, you're not just, you know, jumping, right? Jumping at the opportunity. You're utilizing all your tools, right? That way, when you make the decision, it's a no-brainer. It's easy. No matter which way you go, you can be a success because you've done your background. You've done your due diligence. If you look at the, the Knight of Swords, it is a swift, fast-moving, strong, will type of knight. And I do feel like that's your own energy, okay? And I feel like that, again, like I said, nine times out of ten, I think we are the people who get in our own way. And I do feel like that was what I was feeling for you here is that you have something in mind and as soon as that opportunity arises to get that, you may not consider, okay, this may have some challenges with it or maybe it may have some things that could go along with it or fine print, <laughs> perhaps, if you want to call it that, that I need to consider, things that I need to kind of look at. There may be uh, you know, more than one way to get this going or there may be certain things I need to kind of reconcile with before I actually go through with this, you know, just to make sure that when I do make that decision that it is not going to fail in any way, shape or form, right? So you just need to kind of slow yourself down, I think. Don't jump at it just because it's something you've been longing for. I don't care if it's a job you've been wanting. I don't care if it's a loan you've been wanting, the house you've been wanting, a person you've been wanting. Just because they've come up with that opportunity, um, you know, make sure you're still not jumping at something without doing your due diligence, okay? Because you are headstrong, you are a person who is a go-getter and that's fantastic, but you don't wanna jump into something without making sure that you have considered all of the facts because from jump, something about this has given me this feeling that, especially with that magician card, giving me all of those tools, letting me know that I feel like there's something there that is telling me you need to use all your tools, okay? You need to think about something. There's not, it's not gonna be a clear path. There's gonna be a few things that you might have to negotiate or a few things that aren't exactly the way you want them to be and you need to make sure you uncover those first, you know about those first, you're accepting of those first or uh, negotiate those first or whatever before you jump into anything. So just kind of be weary of that before you just jump at something because you're overzealous, okay? So let's grab the psychic deck here and we are gonna pull this on the Knight of Cups See if it gives us any kind of um, information, please, on the uh, Knight of Cups to kind of let us know what kind of um, opportunities you might be looking at. All right, so we have discontent and boredom. So I do feel like for many of you, what this is, is this is an opportunity to come out of discontent and boredom. So whatever potential part of your life specifically resonates with you that you feel like you've been discontent with the most. So if it's your job that you have been really down and out about. So for this is more for those of you who have not got uh, something you've really been wanting, okay? And you're kind of like, well, what opportunity could come into me, right? You know, I don't really, uh, there's not really a certain person I'm after. There's not really a certain job I've been applying to, you know? So you're kind of like, I don't really know exactly what opportunity will come into me. This is kind of letting you know, there is a potential part of your life that you have been kind of bored or discontent with, okay? What part of your life is that? Is it your job that you're kind of eh, laissez-faire about, not so thrilled with? Is it your relationship or lack thereof? Is it, you know, your family, you know, ties, strengths, whatever? Um, you know, is it your home? Is it your, where you live? Whatever it may be, okay? I feel like that is what, that's what they're saying the opportunity is going to come in, okay? That is the part of your life where you are going to receive this opportunity. But again, just because it seems so great, be careful, take it easy, okay? Um, so just because you're like, oh, I'm so bored with that and discontent with this job, oh, that was, you know, I may not have been looking, but now I've got this great opportunity, I'm gonna jump on it, you know? Make sure some things are always not as great as they seem. 
or you know you just want to do your due diligence okay just be careful with that <laughs> let's pull a moon card here on the knight of swords and the magician see what we have to hear about that um, but I am fairly confident that that's what the situation is, is that you just need to, you know, do your due diligence because things aren't always exactly as they seem. Um, that's not to say it's not a great opportunity. It's just to say there may be little finite details that you want to clear up before you jump into it. Okay. So creation and creation in this deck is specifically about creating your own path, creating what you want out of life. And again, when you're creating your path, you are actually, if you look at the scrolls here, you're actually you know, outlining it. You're actually creating exactly what you want to happen. So it's almost like a map of what you need, what you want, all of that. So again, this is not something you wanna jump into, right? Nobody wants to jump into my life's plan, right? <laughs> That's something that plan, you plan for, right? So again, use all your tools, all your intelligence, all your background information, all of your uh, you know, your wile and guile and smarts and all of that, your connections, your knowledge, everything you've got before you jump into anything, okay? Because you do not want to jump into something that is, you know, just as discontenting. I don't know. <laughs> just going to make you just as discontent or just as bored as you were before or maybe even worse, right? So just be careful because you are creating something that is going to be your future path. And I think you will find great joy in it. I think you will find a positive path whichever way you choose to go, but you're going to have to choose to create the path that is best for you. So let's get a final advice card here out of the general advice deck and close you out here. But I do think you are going to get an opportunity. I do think it's going to be a good opportunity. I just think it may need some tweaking on your part. Um, and that's where you can come in with kind of like creating exactly the way you want it to be, tweaking it just a bit. Um, which means not just jumping into it and accepting it as is, um, and then moving forward from there. So let's see what we got here. And this one is, eliminate distractions, stop shining light on things you are not. How can you reclaim your power? And again, I think that's exactly a very good point there because again, you're not wanting to shine light on things you're not, okay? You don't wanna go back to what you weren't excited about. You don't wanna do the things that you're not. You don't wanna be distracted by the excitement of the things coming in, right? That's very distracting, okay? Oh, bright lights, big city, you know, <laughs> whatever you wanna call it. Okay, something new, something exciting, that's fun. But underneath that, there could be layers of things that are also not great, okay? Things are not always what they seem, obviously, as we know. So before you make that decision, Make sure that you have a well-laid plan and you've thought it all through, used all your tools, okay? And then you will have a wonderful choice here that will be part of the plan you want to put you in a place that's much happier. You won't be as discontent. You won't be as bored. You'll be more excited. Your light will shine better on the things that you enjoy and you want. So I do think this is going to work out beautifully for you. Watch for that opportunity, but just be wary of it uh, as far as you know, that it may have some aspects you may want to tweak to better suit your lifestyle, okay? So hopefully this worked out for you. If it does, please do like, subscribe, share, all that other great stuff, and I hope to see you back very soon. Bye.